Well, getting around Metro Detroit is getting easier and cheaper thanks to a new opportunity to ride for free on the People Mover. There are also some technology upgrades being made to improve the experience. Well, on new this morning, traffic anchor Ali Hoxie took a ride on the People Mover and explains the changes riders can enjoy. I have done plenty of stories in the past about the lack of public transportation here in Southeast Michigan. And while the people mover is just a small fraction of the bigger picture, this is a huge step in the right direction for people who live and work in downtown Detroit. Well, since I stopped driving, it's convenient for me. Five years ago, Jacqueline Johnson traded in her car and her home in Utica for a new place in downtown Detroit. How often do you use the people mover? Almost every day. She says when she called to buy her pass for the year, she was a bit surprised to find she didn't need one. She said, you don't have to pay. I said, oh, no, that's not true. So when I came in, I saw all the signs saying, start your free ride. And it's just wonderful. When I met Jacqueline last Friday, she was kind enough to let me ride along with her on the People Mover. What are you doing at MGM? Doing some gambling? Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't wait long for the People Mover to arrive. Beautiful view. Beautiful view. A, way, a chance to be up and see the city and the view is wonderful. It really is. After a couple of stops, it was time to say goodbye to Jacqueline. Have a great day. And it wasn't long until I was taking in those views Jacqueline was talking about as the people mover turned the bend around Huntington Place. Are you seeing this view? Are you seeing how pretty this is right now? Look at it. It's Windsor. It's this experience Detroit officials hope draw people in. We're hoping that it will increase our ridership from last year by at least 50%. That's a pretty big number. People mover ridership has doubled since 2022. However, ridership is still 42% of pre-pandemic levels. If the people mover being free is not enough for some, there are some upgrades on the way. Grand Circus Park and West Riverfront stations are closing down this week. There's going to be some major renovations at all of the stations ahead of the 2024 NFL draft happening in April right here in Detroit. Brand new cameras, uh, PA systems, but also uh, TV screens that will have information about when the next train is coming, when the operating hours are, and also some interactive kiosks at the platform and at the street level that will help people navigate what's in and around the station area as well. During renovations, two stations will be closed at a time. The closures will be happening until March. All of these changes to entice more people to ride. My boyfriend takes it to work, um, so we really are excited to be able to do that. I just think that the People Movers is free all 2024. I'm so excited. For right now, the People Mover is just free for this year. The Board of Directors for the Detroit Transportation Corporation is going to be meeting in July to see how this pilot program is going and see if it could be extended into 2025. Reporting in downtown Detroit, I'm Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.